Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and tonight we're resuming our adventures in Raccoon City just before it got blown up. But in Resident Evil 3, not in Resident Evil Outbreak. Uh, I'm continuing the easy run, uh, which is going to go very slow with me touching and uh, examining everything. So it's supposed to be more like a chill exploration run than... Uh, something intense. I think we still have some bullets in the never gun. Uh, well, we'll find out. In a yeah, 72% of never gun bullets. And what was I doing? Well, isn't it kind of it to... Oh, no, wait. So, grenade launcher, yeah, I'm gonna face Nemesis for sure. I'm gonna find some more herbs there. I gotta put this thing in there. I don't know, I might have to return here, but... Not that it's gonna... I don't remember anything threatening here except Nemesis in the narrow walkway, which we can easily just melt in with acid and ice now. So I want to go, yeah, straight there. And do I want to go to the newspaper office first? Sure, sure I do. The Arcadia shops, I guess. It's going to be either crows or... Or are they going to be here later? Not now, apparently. Let's put one of the gems in. Oh... I got flashes from childhood <laughs> when I see this imagery. Because Raccoon City, everything's a puzzle. Right here, here's a sapphire. And we're missing an emerald, right? Too bad we can't see the name of all the other mm, gems. They're probably just, you know... I don't see obsidian here, but I see a ruby. I see something like scarlet-y. I see something foresty. Okay. From 9 to 17. Unless you cheat the clock, you know, you set the time and it's gonna be whatever you want it to. Oh, damn it. I don't know if he's gonna hold a diary, so I'm gonna pick this up. Too bad you can just drop it. No? No diary, sir? Oh, Why didn't you write about your moment of death like everybody else in Raccoon City? Yeah. <laughs> exactly, unknown. How are you? Wow, do you hear that? I swear to God, I heard something I haven't heard before. Is this the Big E? Nope. Does anybody know where the where the Big E poster is? I, I was pretty sure it was somewhere in Uptown, but I didn't find it. And then still nothing in Downtown, so... Uh, we'll go back to Uptown later. Probably even in this session. I'm gonna start selling bullets. What, you're not gonna combine? Oh. And then one, each of them for one. There we go. No need to do that, it just looks pretty. So we're jumping from uh, Outbreak to uh, 3 and back, because I keep wanting to use like the Outbreak analog controls. Maybe, oh, okay, the D-pad here is much better. So I'm using my, uh, I don't know if it can reach, PlayStation 1 controller, which has much better D-pad buttons. And it's much easier to use it uh, than the PlayStation 2 controller I have. But that could also be because the PlayStation 2 controller has been extensively more used, like, insanely. It's not always I switch to the PS1 controller just to play a PS1 game, of course, so... Because that's a tedious process, but it does extend the controller's life. What is that? Saki's shoes? Casual wear? I wish we could change the viewpoint. Ah, show me the shoes. What street is this? Where am I? I am the street that runs on the east side of the Raccoon Police Department, okay? 
So it's one of the bigger streets, as we can see. And we do know the trolley is here. And looking at the big maps uh, published by Capcom and assembled by fans. And thank you, Unknown, for the map from Resident Evil 3 I didn't know about. So this street would go all the way up there somewhere. We can't even show it. And uh, to the Wild Thing Zoo that we were in yesterday. And it should be like the same trolley line, trolley bus, or trolley that's like tram. It's a tram. Like, I don't know what it is. They call it trolley, trolley car. Eh. Anyway, it should be the same line. And it should go all the way to Arkley Mountains. But we never got like the full scope of that, so... Uh, I've been told that... Resident Evil 3 is the last time Capcom updated the original Raccoon City maps. Which makes sense, because after 3 they didn't do much more Raccoon City. Exclusive information, the incident in the Arclay Mountains uncovered. Oh, Jill was there, that's her stuff. Hello, it's me. Is that her? Does it say stars on that? Is that her por portrait? Or Chris's? Hello, sir. You got a diary? No? Well, you're not helping anyone by dying without a diary. What? How do I know what to do now? It's locked from the other side. Yes, I remember that. Oh, uh, like this, this little bit here. How many man hours have gone into designing all this? Drawing it, whatever. Just for that one little street that you go into once. The philosophy they kept in the making of Resident Evil 4. With so many assets. Beautiful assets going just used once and that's it. Just it was there to be beautiful, which is okay, but it's not practical in terms of uh, game design. Oh, yeah, I remember this. And I also remember that there were hunters here on uh, uh, in the mercenaries game, so fuck that spray, we don't need it. I don't think there's anything here to pick up all the items. No, <laughs> definitely no achievements, but I meant more like. A secret to unlock or something. Hello, photo. Photo B. A close-up shot of a zombie. Taken at the intro of the game. It says scoop on the backside. Is that Alyssa's? Alyssa, did you leave this? No, she's a freelance support uh, reporter. But it could have been her. No, I had need to flip that fuse over there. In the upper left. It won't move. The raccoon press. I mean, what an imaginative name. What do you call the theater? The Raccoon Theater? Probably. Okay, that's getting old. It's the same sound, pushing sound from Resident Evil 1 and 2. Can you push more, Jill? Uh, those are not, those are no, no cars, so, you know, one person can push them. They say no outbreak. There's no power going to the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? No, I will just look at it and then just go down. Yeah. <laughs> New things uh, that were not in Resident Evil 2 include, I mentioned the quick turn, but also the vibrations for small events like this. The vibrations, uh, the. Uh, what's it professionally called? Not the dual shockism, but more like. Oh, wait, she's gonna blow. She's gonna blow. The force feedback. Uh, has been extensively used in uh, for all of these things that you see uh, explosions etc that's the first time they did it here because Resident Evil 2 DualShock version added um, analog support and uh, dual, uh, DualShock again force feedback support but it wasn't really used like this I know there should be a guy here hello sir are you burning somewhere? Oh, look at that. Is there anything on the board there? No? Hmm. 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 A narrow path can be seen from the window. So I'm gonna get attacked by Nemesis now, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be in the restaurant. Oh no, wait. Different way to meet Carlos. Hey. Yeah. Where... Where am I? Relax. You're fine. No. Obviously, he's fine. <laughs> My head feels like it's about to explode. Anyway, name's Carlos. Glad to meet you, lady. Mm. <laughs> he he went to 
uh, Kendo school for picking up women. RPD Stars Unit. Who do you represent? Stars. I see. Okay. Well, I'm a member of the Biohazard Countermeasure Force sent by Umbrella Incorporated. Sent by Umbrella? Hey, don't look at me like that. What did I say? Do you have a problem? Oh no. Okay, that's a diff it's that's him. different. This is the one that I rarely got. So do I want to jump out or stay here? Jump out, hide in the back. Which one? Which one? Oh, I know there's something, but jump out. Fuck it. Oh. Come on. We're going commando or whatever. Oh, Schwarzenegger. Oh, will I be able to go back up there and get the files? Just so you know, I'm not into that pain is pleasure thing, okay? Just deal with it. <laughs> wants me dead. We've got to get out of here. Okay, I like this. I'm more often he's still there? Can I pick up something? Is he gonna jump out? Sir? Mr. Nemi? No? What is this in the garbage? Oh I love this music. Oh look. They had red herbs here for some reason. so weird imagining life without being able to combine herbs on the go it's things we take for granted nothing else how do you make such awesome music with just like midi tones that's that's art we will open the lock that is art now i'm wondering if i'm gonna miss that file is he gonna jump out if he's gonna follow us? Wait, I have to ask you something. I know, you wanna ask me out. All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. <laughs> I have to know, why did Umbrella send you here? Because we're on a civilian rescue mission. Oh, you're full of it. They're the ones who caused all this in the first place. Look. We're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? I mean, listen. If you want answers about Umbrella, if you consider yourself you're dog. The wrong guy. Believe it or not, we are here to rescue civilians. Believe it or not, we're here me. to rescue. <laughs> think about it. Join us. Alrighty, we unlocked that. So, exclusive information. Oh, yeah, we've seen that. So, um, is he still there? Is he gonna charge at me? I, I, that music tells me he's gonna. Oh, this is beautiful. So, I know that um, if we went to the restaurant, it would have been completely different, which i forgot to bring out the lockpick so we would find the second gem here if we went to the restaurant first and we would meet carlos in the restaurant as well which we'll do in on our hard run but now get in or lure him to the streets to follow me i like how he just follows you through doors but let's see what that's gonna be i'm just curious if he's gonna be inside probably the music's telling me it's gonna be that's the nemesis sneaky music stars any stars here Sir, are you stars? Oh. Sounds like he's there. Sir. Stars you with a very much. Okay. Let's start with these immediately. Ah, damn it. New buttons, new scheme. Okay. Stars. Slowly starsing up. Come on, here. You're not really good at sneaking, Joe. You're climbing like a military march. Is he up? Oh, this is interesting. I don't know this bit because I don't know if I did it like this maybe twice. So, here I go with the grenade launcher. It would be cool if he jumped to follow us and then I got back into the building and he missed us. This is gonna be a tight spot to fight him at, but let's try. It's easy. I keep telling that to myself just to 
Oh, he's there. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, outside. More space, please. <laughs> Thank God for that quick turn. That was... <laughs> that was some scary shit. He's gonna follow me. Oh, he's gonna follow me now. Oh. Now run, Jill. Now use your military march mode. Is he just waiting up there? Like, she's gonna be back, stars. <laughs> She'll miss her Nemi. Okay, let's see if he follows us to the streets and then... <laughs> yeah, that was just like that, I don't know. Uh, is anybody home? Never mind. Oh, he fell from the sky. Awesome, that is... I... Nope, I did, haven't done it like this. Sir? Kachiboom. No, dodge. Yeah, I did it. Okay, burn him, ice. This is a very slow and... You punched me in the boob. Prepare to die, obviously. Dodge, Jill. You're... That's not dodging. He's gonna punch you in the face. Okay, now we never hit him a little wrong button. Kind of killing the dynamics here. It's red caution. Yeah, you know what? Actually, he could kill me easily like this. Let's use some serious herbs. I've been using only greens. Okay. Yeah, I can never him a little and then... Hello, sir. And then freeze him again while he's showing off. His sexy body. Rah! Ow! Like, act like you're shot with a fucking freezing grenade. What's wrong with you? Yeah, bitch. Uh, 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 that's... Ah! Uh, no! My beautiful neck. Get up, get up, Jill. Get up. Get the fuck up. This is supposed to be easy, Jill. Act like it's easy. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that was easy. I didn't even break a sweat. Stars indeed. Okay, I love this. This is... This is kind of new. I don't remember fighting him here, but I must have tried a different route because I just must have. Realizing that there are two, so I probably did it very, very long time ago. While he's down, we can now explore up. That was cool. I really don't remember him fall falling from the sky. Awesome. So glad I did it this way. Okay, he he's out. <laughs> Where did he jump out of? So if that's the building, let's see. He he appeared there. So hmm, somehow he came to this window, or maybe jumped here and then climbed another roof and whatever he did to appear here. Doesn't have to have logic. I'm just looking for it. <laughs> and. One of my favorite things about the uh, freezing rounds is the exactly the nemesis uh, stun lock. So when you hit him with it, and he goes like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> this is always ridiculous. Oh, so I'll imagine he went here. The fire is too intense for me to enter, but not for him. So he could have mm, somehow went there and then just here. All right. Let's see what is what's here. It should be files and shit. Oh, this as well. Yep. We want those. If we could somehow make up for the wasted ones, that would be awesome. Yeah, luckily there aren't any exploding doors unknown. Oh, you mean, mean person. <laughs> We're referring to the time when unknown pointed me to a door in Hellfire on very hard. I think it was you. <laughs> And, uh, and I was Mark, luckily, but that was not pretty at all. It was like, Mark, pointing to the door. I was like, okay, yeah, I'll open the door. I'm good for this, opening doors. I just did, like, three backflips. <laughs> oh, who's it? Report this memo. Might be Alyssa, but... <laughs> Might be Alyssa, but I don't know. Let's give him some yeah, accent. Her voice. Yeah, at least I have, at last I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in the city. Yeah. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal, tearing away at new flesh. Yeah. It was completely disgusting. I have heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. Yeah. However, 
the causes of the disease the, is not yet known. I have somehow missed plural and singular in the same sentence, but that is just my technique. Is this another mystery of the present disease? I will have to check on it. Dot, dot, dot. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. Yeah, I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. Yeah, I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe the city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. Yeah, he's referring to Greg. No, Peter. And the masterpiece. And Greg. They're all like, they bunched up together. Yeah. The military has set up blockades around the city to give us the ending cinematic for the outbreak scenario, I guess. Oh. Hello? PlayStation? What is going on? Yeah. Thank you. Keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or have come in contact with the disease. I know that it, uh, this is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I am infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. Yeah. I have yet... No, I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Suspicious. Yeah. You have taken the reporter's memo. Okay, reporter. Unknown reporter. Oh, there's another file. Yeah, I'm glad I got back here. So the second file is... Photo C. The police have been destroyed. Also snapshot directly from the intro like who 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 took the photo and why did they take it like on the ground what did they lie down in the pool of blood and snap the photo or was it someone who's dying like my last contribution snapped the photo and then someone found it so many questions that's what resident evil is a lot of <laughs> it was jim it was jim you're right i know oh holy shit you just solved the mystery it must have been jim yeah <laughs> <laughs> what would Nemesis do if he if he like had to exterminate Jim and Jim just like plays dead on the floor? Would he go just blow like stars? All sad and defeated. My one weakness, people lying on the ground. But you're not jumping through that again, Jill, are you? For some reason. Okay, I guess that's it here. Is there sh I kinda remember some ammo being here, but that probably also randomizes like some other items. I think it would have been here here instead of the gunpowder, but I don't. I can't guarantee that. Yeah. All right. Door, take me to the next room. So this this is supposed to be like a flimsy wooden door with a glass window, and. We're to believe that Nemesis chasing up here was just like, yeah, I will politely open the door and go through. <laughs> okay, that's enough of press for today. Let's go. Do I want to pick up the spray? I really don't need it, and I don't see the point of picking it up, but at the same time, it's kind of calling me. Resist. Resist the call of the spray. Even the front doors are like... Jokingly silly. So weak. Oh, I see the fire. So he must have used like the fire exit, fire stairs, which are blocked off by the barrage of cars stuck in it. People dead in all possible positions. Okay. Let's go to the restaurant. Is he gonna chase me there again? <gasps> I will, if he does, I'll be able to throw that lamp and blow him up, like a boo, but somehow survive myself. Because I am the protagonist. I know when I uh, go back uh, here later, there's gonna be some enemies. I believe Cerberi, if not a few zombies extra. We don't need these. Really? All I need to make now is... Which one are missing?
Oh, that's like the assault rifle. And then grain launcher. I don't think I'll find another one. Nope. There's just you can find one of those. So assault rifle, then we have grenade, flame, acid, and then yeah okay you guys go there too i need more bees not bees i mean gunpowder type b dude no bees please uh greeny greeny hello shall i carry one of those with me at all times hmm Either one of those or or just a green to mix it. Look at that, yeah. Should be okay even like this. Definitely. Why not? So we'll need those two. And from these items I'll need the lockpick in the restaurant to get the crowbar. The best candy bark for crows. Oh, one-handed driving doesn't pay off. Run, brum, 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 brum. Big E, hello, Big E. Where is your concert, Big E? Ah, oh, keeps bothering me. I want to see the Big E con poster. I remember that was in the game. I know it was there. Hello? Nope. Open door, sesame. I like how you can't see the lock on the on the inner. Oh, the zombies are now here? Can I blow them up? Ah! Never! Never! Yeah, we're about to spend all the last of the never gun. Sir! Never! He understood. Anybody else? Oh, two of them. Let's try this. Never! I like how this gun just is capable of hitting two zombies at once. Feels makes you feel like a real badass. How did you guys get in here? Is it the food? Did the food attract you? I don't know if anybody else hears this, but in Resident Evil 4 there are sections where I swear they did a little remix of this music. Even the rhythm it, on the left channel, if you can hear it. And the spooky piano-y instrument, whatever it is. It really sounds like... You know the part where you have to solve like the bread puzzle? Uh, you basically have to shoot the wine in the picture in Resident Evil 4? That bit, for instance. Slightly, maybe slightly faster tempo. Beat tempo, but very similar okay let's get that crowbar these guys aren't getting up there's gasoline here let's not have that not, not gasoline propane butane i don't know which one's used for the do we check this yeah it's just it looks i guess that's the that's a lockpick but it always uh, looked to me the at least the top part it looked to me like the uh what do you mean you don't need to use it? oh Like a hair clip or whatever it's called. Fire hook. Left by Danny, I guess. Nothing more. So just in the whole fucking storage thing, there's just one fire hook. Such waste of space. Unhook. Oh, Joe's being the hooker right now. Ugh. Hooker mode, disengage. Alright, what's that? Seems to be a switch for the drain. Yeah, in case it starts flooding, which I think it will, maybe. Or is it if we go to the restaurant first? Hello? Is there anybody here who hear, who needs to hear the never message? Oh, there you are. Never! They heard it. I know there's another one here. Oh no, there isn't. That's all? That's all of them? Three zombies. 
the, we'll pick that up later. Let's see what's here. It's a freezer. Oh, I like how... So when you're walking through the water, the vibrations are... I don't know, they're really nice. Feels like... Feels like it's transferring the feeling of uh, running through water. The green gem, which is definitely not the sapphire. Ripped into and torn apart. Let's process that. Okay, we got the emerald. Let's go. Is he gonna drown me now? No. Did you hear something? Let's hope. He's not there. Nope. He's not gonna be here. All right, so off we go to the municipal building. Beep. From door to door. Could have left the lockpick though, that would have been cool. I don't think there's an item uh, box beyond this point, yeah. That's not a dog, no. Let's solve this puzzle that just requires putting two things in. Precursor to resistance. But I gotta say, the sound is really nice. Alright. So anybody with two gems in their possessions can enter the Raccoon City Hall. No wonder this city fell. Like, nothing... Everything was more... We're about puzzles, then we're about being functional. And we like to write diaries about all the events, including our evil schemes. Especially our evil schemes. Those are like the, the bolded diary entries. With, you know, specific details. I like how in Resident Evil 1 you find the whole fucking plan for Wesker. Well, or, or orders what to do and how to lure the stars members. Like, <laughs> professional conspiracy guy and uh, police captain ladies and gentlemen leaves like evidence li evidence lying all around so after these 37 percent which is gonna go out pretty soon let's think about that when that you know when we get there i will just start using the shotgun which i probably could start doing now i don't think i'll be i'll need to make any other ammo on easy uh, other than of course freeze rounds CC freeze rounds that's not BC for anybody who thinks it is still no enemies no crows they should like get out of these windows somehow crows were in the boutique I don't know top it top up is it stars time? Char! Oh, they're gonna come come out from here? Oh no, later. We don't hear anything, but we know that they're there. Or they will be there later. And you can't see them from here either. So there are some stealthy zombies. That's the municipal building? Kind of feel they wanted to do more with this, but they gave up. These red and green herbs are not the red and green herbs we'd like them to be, which is also okay. Let's go to the Stagla gas station. Pay our taxes because they provide for the for the safety and well-being of our special town. We all know how that went. Uh, mail from uh, mail to Chief Bryans from Irons from William Birkin. Ooh, crows. <gasps> I love these. These are the... Okay, this is one of my favorite... Whatever. Scenes? Shots? In all these games, you see a street, a lot of vehicles, of course, crashed in front of the gas station. But the angle is superb. You can see the architecture clearly in the in, on the right side with a close-up of a building. And I think that's the municipal building. Probably. No? Yes? Or... 
the building behind it. And this is the same street where Nemesis fell on me, so that was here, but because of all this rubbish that's blocked off. So I had to go around. And you would never say looking at it like this, because there are too many barricades. But going here, we should be able to see something, yeah. Different. And you can see the, the, the edge of the street, what it would look like, all that. Like, the little details showing off the city, that it's not just two streets that were in Resident Evil 2. Oh, it's beautiful. And uh, this is the same sound loop used in the Resident Evil 1 balcony scenes, I'm pretty sure. With crows and the spooky wind. Wind in Ra even wind in Raccoon City goes, ooh. Yeah, I'll go back there. I don't think I'll have room for all of these here. I should have brought just that green. I, I was like, nah, no way they'll give me another. Oh yeah, I won't be able to do it now anyway. I just need to break this for now. Use. I like the, that animation, how she looks at it. Like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I'm the master of cranks, goddammit. Yeah, and that's gonna be the wench. The wench wench. Looks like DeLorean. Is that DeLorean? God damn, it looks like, like a DeLorean. Am I crazy? It even has the American flag over it. Oh. Wish there was everybody. Yeah, everybody. I've heard quite a few people recently said, but there would, it would be cool to see a game that lets us explore Raccoon City. You know, more than a few streets. Even in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Yeah, I complained about that already. But where is that doorknob? What the hell just happened there? Uh, I probably should clean the console's laser. I haven't done that in... A couple of years, actually. But it's been loading fine, so... Last time I played this, it was okay. Uh, yeah, I got the room. Why not? Let's go visit Nikolai and Mikhail. Hello? Could I have met... Oh, no, I couldn't. I'm thinking, could I have met Nikolai before? Uh, you know, you're not really fooling anyone. You're obviously an object uh, polygon. And you're a different shade in the street, so... Uh, never? No, you, they're invincible until you provoke them. Well, it's just dumb. Sir? Seriously? Are they supposed to be dead? Hello? I know you'll get up. I got 35% of that. Should hold us. Oh, Jesus. What's different now? Are you gonna get up? Yep. So predictable. Never. I said never, sir. Oh, he almost bit me. I was like, I'll get in there, and I was too close. Okay, what's this street? Where are we going? Why is there danger on every wall in Raccoon City? Danger of zombies? Koi, Japanese food, and delivery. How would this work? Would this, how would you go into a, a, to a dark alley to buy food? I guess so, I'm in Raccoon City. This would be a bigger street, but it's also barricaded, of course. And that's the street that cuts with the gas station. So gas station is now to the right of us. Well, the police station is to the left. I mean, in Joe's perspective. Big E? Any Big E post posters here? Hello, sir. Ah, sir! I just wanted to know if you've seen Big E. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus, some people. Ah! So you haven't seen Big E? Okay. You're bleeding? All right. That's okay. That's that's allowed. That's even encouraged. Did he kind of... This guy over here was... He's kind of clipping, so he's like on the trash can. But over here looks like he's... In a wall? What is he... What is that even? Oh, a weird angle, I guess. Because I don't see that here. But then over here... What are you doing, man? Poor guy. Okay, next street. I know something's gonna come from here. Wow.
City Hall. City Hall. Where am I going now? I mean, just in relation to other things. Oh, the trolley is like... I could spit over the wall and reach it, but no. Lonsdale Yard. Something Omishi Corporation, something West Corporation, and something Corporation. Sure. Something we can read. Is there a Biggie poster here? Hello, Biggie Biggie. Wow, look, the sign says... St 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 oh, station. It looks like it says Statrom. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. <gasps> there we go. Excellent mixes. I have taken some herbs, yes. And that's easy for you. Ammo and drugs on every corner. It's like the GTA Resident Evil. Oh, hello. I should save this for later when there's a hordes of zombies, I think. But you know what? This is always fun. Shaboom! Wow. Kind of overkill for two dogs, but still. Shotgun ammo? Yeah. His injuries are severe and beyond fatal. So that's probably why he didn't write anything in his diary. A strong barricade is blocking the way. Ah, ah, you see? RPD was useful. Did Dorian come this way? And where's that way looking, Jill? It's looking straight west. So they barricaded the middle of the street? Why? Is this Biggie? Biggie, 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 Biggie? No, it's not. My hopes are in vain. And I know there's a dog there. And this is supposed to be a big crossroad and I want to see it, but I can't. I shouldn't be able to see this. It's a nice street. Very nice street. So there's a crossroad, yeah. I know you're somewhere in the fire, sir. No? Seriously? Is this, does this have something to do with us blowing up the main street in uh, Outbreak? Can you enter here? I think it's locked from this side. Yep. There should be another barrel here for later, yeah? When we have a whole damn pile of zombies. Can you push it though? I don't want to play around with it, blow myself up. It's not working anymore. So if that's the tram station, what is it just, how does it even work? Why would it stop there? What is, what is this? Well, it looks like a garage, but it isn't. It's like two meters tall and yet it looks like there's something here. I want more explanations. Anyway, let's get into the tram. Now we get the manual, Mechanics Memo, written by Martin Sandwich. I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. Kevin? Kevin? Kevin's the mechanic? Mustn't be the same. Definitely wasn't the same Kevin. Still, though. So let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains are get along just fine. Now they're trains? You see, these carriages were made in 1968 and then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but... They still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. We can always depend on them. If they have had a bad day, if they have a bad day and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you discover what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid those nasty little mal malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that if you need to replace anything, you have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that even if you can't find another original part, you'd better 
find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. Until the Terminator. The end. You've taken the mechanic's memo. Alrighty. Some of the parts seem to be uh, out of order. The only parts that are visible on this panel, which are the power cable is disconnected, the fuse is broken, the mixed oil has been used up, so this tram was never supposed to run. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's his side job, who knows. He's got another job because he's failing at his regular job. Okay. Uh... No visit from Carlos? That's probably in the next car over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good one. Guys, into, into, in front of Jay's bar, he just changes from his over. Maybe, actually, You're one of the survivors from the we'll get back team, to that. Right? I oh. just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm no ordinary civvy. I'm a <laughs> member of STARS. STARS? No, it's pronounced stars. Hey, is someone wounded back there? He's in front of you. Are you fucking blind? <laughs> He's like lying right there in front of her. Oh, is someone wounded back there? Jill can't see far. <laughs> so as, uh, what I was going to say is uh, maybe David's the actual policeman. He does know the knife combo. He is suspiciously competent for just being a plumber no disrespect to any plumbers and all but he knows like no plumber should know a four hit knife combo three hit knife combo upgraded to four hit uh in uh outbreak file two and kevin is the one who kicks it's kind of maybe they have reversed roles who knows hello mr mikhail oh this looks bad oh, they're coming Get ready! No, don't come this way! <laughs> Fire. Fire. He doesn't Stay know the magical together. words. Calm down. You're safe now. Not really. It's gonna be okay. Oh, Jill, you just lied everything you said. No. Don't come any closer. Stay away. <laughs> it's don't come this way. You know nothing, Mikhail. Whatever your last name is. Some people. How do you expect to be saved? And that's a double car tram. So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. How are you behind me now? When I just entered? No, we can't trust her. Says the guy with the Russian accent. <laughs> But Sergeant, we need her help. I am obviously a, a you, trusting and, and figure and Mikhail, here. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Let me think about it. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I mean, what I a plan. We can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people, let's get moving. Let's not comment on Nikolai is dressed like for fucking winter and Carlos has just like sleeveless shirt, jacket, whatever. I just got this, but I got nothing from it. So this scene is kind of pointless on easy, as I said. But I always wondered what did he give her? I would, I could see something on her. You can see like the fanny pack or whatever. But, you, you know, on easy it makes no sense because nothing changes. But on hard, 
We will only have 8 slots up until this point and then we'd get the additional 2. Alright. Let's take the, the only wrench in the city. Is that David's train station guide? Okay. Is it a train? It's now a train? Just make up your fucking mind. What is your vehicle? Nothing here. I wish there was more here to pick up and explore, but there's nothing. And it's still like a two-car tram, trolley bus, train thingy. Also, how did Carlos just get out if it was locked from the inside? Explain. What, did they went backwards? Why? Oh, look, you can see. Oh, there you go. That should be somewhere here. If I remember correctly, we should be able to see the street from... Uh, this is where Resident Evil 2 starts, isn't it? I think it's... I think it's here. That's the fire that's burning, I think. It would make sense, because you'd go over here. Kendo's gun shop should be somewhere here, if I'm not mistaken. And then you get down and enter the police station, so... Or maybe it's here. No. Kendo's is actually here, I think. So you start here, then... Oh, I wish I could see more. No, you run down the street, then left, then to the... Oh, uh, just a little bit more. Ah, oh, there he goes! Oh, never! I meant... Never! This is not outbreak, there's no... Yeah, walking and aiming. Oh, never gone to the rescue. I will miss you. Only 20% left. So I should be able to see something familiar here. At a certain angle. Not here. I can't see it. But, maybe this angle. Maybe it's that over there. No, don't turn towards the barrel, damn it. Over there. I think that's the thing. Because we should be able to see Otto Castellar. Oh, it's so close. I wish I could see better. Arr. It would That would be really neat. Because that's that would be the fire where, where Leon started. Or Claire, actually, if you if you follow the official order or timeline or whatever. Okay, let's go back. No shakes yet, no. I gotta say, you can really feel the difference using this controller compared to the PS2 one. Again, I think it's the... Because the buttons are digital and it's kind of feels better. I... Oh, never! Was that a final never? Yeah, there should be some bees here. Please give me bee, please give me bee, bee, bee. Yes! Gunpowder bee! So we can fuck up more grenades. I'm actually using the stick because it works so well. I couldn't use it as a kid. I know like uh, the older players would tell me, well, why didn't you use the analog stick? What's the diff? Why would I when I have a D-pad? Said I not knowing what analog ma means. So now we get the wrench. Let's go dump some of this shit before we proceed. And now I should be jumped here with 17 left. Yeah. Never! I gotta see what I'm nevering. Never! Look, that's a tough zombie. Never! <laughs> it's the final never bullets. Stealthiest zombies ever. I did not hear them. I did not. Okay. It's supposed to be the city hall that's been boarded up. I... It's kind of logical you'd expect them to have a city hall um, level or, you know, at least a building, you know, just like two rooms. Let's do this. So this is the puzzle that I remember. So I last time I told a story when uh, how I started playing this game. So I from some older players in a game room where I was... Uh, 
I was frequenting and uh, a bronze made book shaped project given knowledge. Book of wisdom. And I know that the the moment where I actually started started playing it is when they asked me to help them with a puzzle because they were it was driving them nuts. They couldn't solve this, and um, and I couldn't beat a level. I couldn't get a tape in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So it was it was kind of a big exchange. You know, you can uh, you guys get me this tape in Tony Hawk, and I'll I'll you know I'll try to solve this puzzle, and I did it, and. You know, that's the moment, That's that was the moment where I was like, oh, this game is awesome, it makes you think, I want it. And that's how I started playing it, Resident Evil in general. Yeah, it can hold something in its hand, alright. Now, you know, it seems like a ridiculous puzzle, but back then, you know, we mostly played side-scrolling games or, you know, simple games with A to B. So it was weird backtracking to get an item that... You might have forgotten, they have forgotten about it. Um, just to, you know, exchange it for another item that helps you pro proceed further. Nowadays it's a common concept, of course, but... Maybe even not, because I feel like there's a lot more linear games. But there's a lot... What was that? <gasps> What's going on? Never! And that's the last of never. Woo! I'll keep it right back. Who was that? And oh, I want to follow it. God! That must have been Carlos. Carlos, wait! Don't go! Quickly, I need my shoddy. And to dump all these herbs. Oh, so many herbs. Good thing I'm off duty. Okay. We got that, so you know what? You're going away, mister. I'm sorry, but you have used you have your you have served your purpose. Never got. You shall be dearly missed. Look at this. So oh, shotgun all shotgun all Arr. All the way. All the way. Look at that. Oh beautiful. Beautiful. And then the gray launcher. Right after it. And then the herb, wrench, book of course, and let's see if we can make something. We can only make one C. I'm still hurting over that one, yeah. B and A, right? Yeah. Can you do like pages? I know on the... Oh, you can, with the R1 and L1. Yeah, that's what I want, okay. Mm, that's all, all I'll need for now. It's time to sh use the shotgun. Yes, I will check, Dario. Thanks for the reminder, I know. I'll go back there. Soon. I should get to g get the gas station now, with all the things I have. I wonder if something would happen if I went, yeah, if I went towards, uh, if I went after Carlos. Sir, don't lose your head. Ooh, I like that sound of, Resident Evil 3 has it, I'm not sure about, I think 1 and 2 have it too, as well, but. That, when you take their heads off. You there, sir? There he is. Oh, are you gonna puke? Please don't puke on me. Yeah! Okay. That's enough. Catch shutting, I guess. Uh, before I go to the gas station, I shall go this way. Actually, let's do the gas station last. That's a kind of weird order. I usually do it the other way. I know why I do that first, because I want to pick up all the items and bring them to the item box on my way back, that's why. But I'm wondering if something's gonna happen if I go there first. So, a book of wisdom. Yes. That has, that, did that, there was just backwards text on the green panel, did you see that? Kind of looks like it's mirrored, I don't know.
future compass. Aha! Uh -huh. I dodged your accidental puzzle, Raccoon City. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, I want to try it differently, even though it's like a less economic way. Yeah, but I do need the battery in order to go. Yeah, okay, never mind. I need the battery in order to go to the substation. Lots of back and forth. Whee. Uh, after I take the battery, before going to the gas station, I'm gonna take a five minute break to stretch my legs a little. Oh, there they are. Now when I don't have the never gun. Well, thanks a lot, assholes. Ah, my face. Why are you running backwards, Jill? Damn, shotgun to the crow. Yeah! Can you aim at them? Fuck yeah! Any more? Feels like there's more of them. Where are you? Shik, shik. Oh, just one shik. Oh. Okay. Mr. Crow? Yeah! I like how it like launches them back. Look at that. Bloodshed in the streets of Raccoon City. Oh, maybe there was something if I check the window, I'm not sure. Also, should keep an eye on my files. Let's see... File. Yep, everything's here so far. Let's give him the... Way to the future. Bloop! So for green to red to blue. Exevia batteries only in Raccoon City. And that, like people have batteries around. More satisfying to kill them here than in Outbreak? Yeah, because in Outbreak it's kind of flat. Killing them, killing the crows. And uh, sometimes you think you kill that and it goes like on the ground like ah, ah, and then just fly, starts flying and pecks you again. Fuck you, crow. You're changing the rules of the game. An old style battery. It seems to be as powerful as a modern one. I still have the wrench though, which I'll need twice. Oh, fuck it. Oh. Okay, forgot about that. Hello, guys. Got something to te tell me? That guy on the ground is dead for sure. That was like a chest shot. Oh boy, that scared me. How, why is the city council full of zombies? Honestly, I don't think I've shot crows with the shotgun too many times. Usually I use the... On hard mode, of course, the pistol. And on, on easy, I would have had the... Uh, never gun at that point. I think I kind of messed around with it in the stream a bit more than usual. I could take the items without triggering the cutscene. There's so many choices here how you want the story to go. And I'm trying to do something that I've ra rarely done. Like the thing in the... Ha facing Nemesis in the press room instead of the instead of the the restaurant but I'm wondering I know there's a way to trigger a different cutscene when you find Nikolai being an asshole where it's actually I think Carlos there now I don't know if it depends on whether I go to the whether I go to the gas station or the umbrella office first Yeah, being able to change maps. Ah! Always press that L2 to zoom in. <laughs> or zoom out. Okay, here we go again. One is R1 or select, and then that, and then use X to zoom in. So I need to go to the sales office. Which is just right next to the police station. Sure. And, um... Hmm. 
If I go there and the back, and I also need to go to the power substation, which is there. Which of these should come first? I would say... Well, I would say go here, since I'm already here. It's gonna be... It's gonna blow up anyway, so... Sooner or later. Will it, do I, can I miss Carlos somehow? Can I not trigger him? Untidy counter. Hmm. I think as soon as I go there, I'll trigger him. Or, you know what, let's do that later. Like, Jill was here, she didn't find anything, she didn't realize what she needs to do for the oil, so she went to do other things. Wait, there should be a battery... Yeah, the battery is for the elevator, that's right. I want to see if it's going to be different. Maybe go f to the sales office first. Open all these routes, go to the sales office, and then pick up things on the way back. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. I said I'm gonna make a take a ten minute break here, so let's get to the uh, shopping alley. One screen over. Thank you very much. Oop. So sweet that uh, even like the the writing on the door is backwards, but why is it on the inner side of the mall of the shopping center? Why is it not on the outer side? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, humans did make this. Look at that. I know I've been there here five times, but all the things on the sides. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Let's take a break here, folks. I'll be back in a few minutes with more Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation. Welcome back, everyone. Let's resume Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the PlayStation. Obviously. So obviously isn't the remake. <laughs> okay, who ran here and what were you doing? Hmm, is there gonna be more stars? I know there's gonna be more um, yellow gunpowders in the sales office. Oh, hello. How did the first one miss? How many do I have? Zero. Where are you? Flea thing. Yeah. Shotgun. That was awesome adding like free movement on the stairs because in Resident Evil 2 you couldn't do that. But then I learned from Digital in the last stream that uh... Zombies can't attack you on the stairs because of the grab would be buggy or something. So their AI is hard coded to just, you know, make them puke while they're on the stairs. Which is kind of a safe spot. Now that I noticed this, that they puke mostly on the stairs, I didn't think about it, honestly. Yeah, the, we already got the map, that's right. But there you have it. Oh, hello, sirs. Oh, I like the, the range of shit. Oh, that was a little early. Who's fighting there? I want to see. Come close. Nobody here yet. one more shell and then a reload and I'm trying to do live reloads because it's more badass um, it also teaches me to count my bullets or shells or rockets or grenades or whatever the hell I'm shooting at the moment yeah I need to get the fire hose 
That's the objective right now. Nothing here. Here we might have a Cerberi or two. Cerberus or two, but uh not sure. No? Okay. So quiet for now. The loneliness and the somber music. The loneliness of the long distance runner, which she is right now. Biggie? Oh. <gasps> Maybe it's over there. Oh, nope. We're not even gonna comment on those? Let's wrench it out. Ah, I need to squeeze in here. Yep. Wrench it out. One handedly. enough about that more assholes yeah Ooh. was that two of them yeah I got two of them well wow, that was nice usually it doesn't work that way Let's do it here. Ooh. Just once? That's kind of confusing. How do you put six, seven, seven shells with one swing or one reload, whatever? It shouldn't. It shouldn't work. Dogs? No. Zombies. Better. And they're policemen, so they're all like coming from the police station. Is that the rabble that's gonna surround Leon and Claire later? Because Jill didn't finish him off. Two heads for price of one, ladies and gentlemen. Haha! <laughs> Can I go back to the station? Let's do that. I've never done that. Or she'll be like, there's no reason to come back here now. Show me more. I, I don't think I've ever gone back to the police station except maybe first time when I didn't know what to do. But yeah. I think they are, Dario is going to be okay on his own. He seemed collected and, you know, wise to me. Said some wise words. <gasps> that angle is just like when you. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything here to find. I was hoping something would be like attack me, maybe. Yeah, literally nothing, probably. Jill is just fond of her workplace. I like how still over here you can still see the spot where Brad died. And then I guess zombified and walked off to eat. 30 bullets from Claire or Leon. Because he takes a lot of shots to give you that special key. And why did they have Claire and Leon costumes in that in that locker in the first place? We never that was never explained. Did he just have random two costumes that fit Leon and Claire perfectly? <laughs> yeah, he had to escape. Is he gonna stars me as soon as I do this? Let's try. Yeah, 
Wow. Intense vibrations. Okay. That did it. Now what do I need? I don't need anything actually. I have health. Uh, I know there's going to be some grasshoppers there, or uh, fleas, or power demons. But fuck him. Should I check on Dari? Oh yeah, I need the crank first, which is going to be here. So let's do that. Another alley. How does this work in a city? And then you get out here, and then you have like a garbage dump here. And you can go over there. Again, by the garbage dump. Which is just like there. I don't know, we don't have door alleys where I live. There's just alleys, there are no doors between them. I guess we don't have to load into the next alley. So that's why. Those are definitely flies. Yep. Or maybe even moths. Ooh. Sure, I'm not even gonna combine it. Jill, it's right there. <laughs> First you hear the lock, then you open. Can blow these guys up. Ah! Or do that. Where's the other one? I don't want to blow myself up. One shell. So. Oh, did I just blow myself up? Yep. Yep, I did. Okay. I'm still smoking. Oh, I was smoking from that. Jeez. Okay. Um. Uh, Small price to pay for blowing up a drain demons, I gotta say. I am not that not even <laughs> not even sorry a bit. I will be if Nami gets me with the bazooka. Which is what's gonna happen. Where is that crank? Let's go do that. Mm, this calls for a green, uh, for a red green combo, actually. You can still run, presumably full speed. Can, do those zombies in the window ever do anything, or are they just there for, like, the, uh, you know, like the, the atmosphere? Hello, Helicteru. Thanks for dropping by. He doesn't run Exterminate. That's true, though. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna drop these. He does have a good aim, though. A really good aim. When he wants to. When he doesn't, he's just... Not really smart. So... There. The backward turning of the doorknobs, did anybody else notice that? When they're turning doorknobs in Resident Evil, they're turning them backwards, like the opposite way of what I'd s expect the doorknob to turn in order to open the door. It looks like they're locking the door. Not these, I mean the circle, circular knobs like on that door right there. We just missed. I only need a crank here, no special item. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, that was a good one. Fuck you all. Especially you. <laughs> Nice care. Woo! Got him all with a few shots. 
They won't pull that again. <laughs> See there? She turns it like... That's how you lock the door. Ooh, I hear there's a feast going on. Hello? Sir? You are headless. Hello? What you got there? You still alive? Oh, both of you are. No, you're not. There was those zombies eating a zombie. It's not like desperation mode. And she's gonna find a whole fucking arsenal there. Yeah, we can start shooting these right away. That's why we're playing easy mode. Just so spend ammo. Don't save it. Just shoot at things. Back to the inventory just to get out of it. I was never... It was never clear to me why would you go back to the inventory after using cranks and Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 3 definitely, and I think even 2, there's a little bit of that. It's just ridiculous. How can you fail this? Like, how? There's one... Whoa! Maybe like that. One woman wrecking crew. Damn. Let's check the bar. Maybe Brad's gone to get himself a drink. You know, after being nearly decapitated? Well, he was, kind of. Not decapitated, but his face was really ruined. Sorry, lady. Wow, she was fast. Now, why are they here? Is there anything new here? Are you Mr. Pukester? I don't think there's anything new here. They're just here. Oh, sir. Please. Nope. No idea why they're back here. Maybe there would be something. I don't think... I don't remember anything being here even on hard mode. So, why? Let's check the map. It says... I can use either of these streets to go back to the beginning, which is here. It's easier where I was, and then I can just run around. Shh. Shh, shh, shh. Here. Okay, so... Here. Mm. Great, really? That's the closer route? Okay, so then I'll go there, make a turn. Oh, then I'll be back where I started. Yeah, actually, why not? Ah, I see. Okay, there. I'll go there. Do that. Then back here. I think that'll do the trick. Yep. You know, you gotta find new fresh tactics. This is oh, clearly not working for you. Two heads for the price of one. Wow, that's the second time. Better than Jim at getting heads, uh, Jill is. Let's check that corner. You are clearly background. I just wanted to shoot the other guys. Yep. What's in the boutique that you guys need, need so much? What? I don't... I'm not in a hurry, so, you know, keep doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> oh, look, the, the thing is up. See? Things do change, so you wouldn't be able to go up. What happens now? How did that happen in the first place? I don't... I don't remember that detail. Looks like they're kind of... Detached in the middle? What? Interesting. So that's there. This would take me over there. Why? <laughs> so yeah, actually either of those. That that'll take me back to over there, so I wanna go here. 
my instructions are clearly very specific and easy to understand. Were these corpses here before? I think that the whole texture of the street has changed. I don't remember this guy. Though I can go back and watch the previous stream and see, but... Huh. Hope I'm not missing something. This guy, maybe. But also not sure. Don't know what to think, but it's beautiful that things change. You see that? You don't see that in the remake, because you're like in the streets for... 20 minutes and you're off. You're, you're out of it. It's not really 20 minutes, but it really feels short. And you don't soak in the environment as much as you do here in the original. So, uh... Props to the original, I guess. Hello, guys. One head less. Oh. Hello, sir. I obviously like taking their heads off. You too, sir. As long as... Ah! Okay. Damn the perspective. As long as there's not like 10 of them, I mean, at least like 2 of them in front of me, there's no need to really use anything else. Yeah, I think it's here as well, so we're gonna research this street as soon as we take care of the... Oh, there's 2 of them. There's the fast guy. We said it's easy mode and we're gonna kill all the... Jill, I, I know he's a zombie and he's dumb, but what's your problem? What's your excuse? There's another guy there. Can I get his head like this? Yep, because <laughs> I was elevated. Anything new here? Just kind of looking somewhere. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Nothing new. These... I, I, I guess it's supposed to be like it's the same zombies I killed before, only they've risen again. I mean, that's what I think at least, I don't know. Because it couldn't be like the, a new batch of zombies replaced the old one. So going right, we'll go there. It's the same room left and right. That's ingenious. It's like really good level design. So let's check for the big E poster. Is it here? I think it's on the other side actually, but you know what? I'm going to poke everything and we'll see. Here, maybe here. Nope, it's on the other side. What's this? Is this readable? No? I don't even know if that's supposed to be a bullet. Hello, zombie! How are you, man? Come on, on. Where I came from? Okay. Let's see. We'll find it. We'll find it. Oh, maybe it's that. I didn't check that. Oh, it looks like it could be a rock con concert poster concert. Maybe it's in the other street. Maybe it's not in the European version, huh? But it should be. Like, why would they change that? That's a random, random change. That's good to hear, zombie. I'm glad. We're trying to find the big E poster. The band, the Raccoon City, I guess, rock band. You passed one poster? Where? Here? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I didn't even see that there. There we go. Big E concert, September 30th. It starts at 7.30 p.m. So why was... So the big E ring that you find and... Uh, and uh, thank you, Ano. Thank you very much. In Outbreak, in uh, Hellfire, was it worn by a band member or was it a ring worn by their fans? Hello, John RPG. Uh, I'm still setting up stuff, so no, I didn't customize anything. Uh, unless you mean like the follow subscription and those alerts, uh, those those are custom, but. I think I think you mean the different thing. Still setting things up whenever I have time after work, basically. All right, we know where Big E is now. Now, now we don't, there's no need to play anymore. That that's it. Oh, bro, I checked your channel. There's some nice games you stream there, really. 
Okay, we'll check that. Well, actually, when we're go going back, we're going to go that way. Thanks, John. Nothing interesting. Really? She is still dead, Jill. She was dead two hours ago. She is still dead. She's not coming back. Not that way, definitely. <laughs> save him, huh? Sure. Dario, I'm here to save you. You know what? This calls for a special weapon. The Shaboom gun. It splits into three little Shabooms and then fucks everything up. And that guy somehow survived. Oh my god, this is worse than the shotgun. Definitely worse than George's ex-wife. Dario, is that you? No, wait, it's not. Is that supposed to be him? Yeah, that's him. He's kind of mushed in, in between all the uh, all the zombies, which are now charred. Too bad. Poor Dario. He never got to be a writer. There's so much pain here, Jill. You could make some explosives from it. At least he was kind enough to leave us some, uh... Yeah, it would be better, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we go, two Bs, so we can make more acid rounds by accident. Ooh, A and B. Tell me more. Ooh, two A's and two Bs. Oh, this is really going good. How did... Where did she pull those off? Oh, probably behind the yellow ones? Oh, we can immediately make more. Now, what I don't know is, is there anything you can mix? Is there any... So, can you mix some gunpowder with the with the explosive ones or with the acid ones to turn them into freeze rounds? Because that would be awesome. I never did that. So, if anybody knows, now is the time to tell me. Dario's memo. Oh, can you do his voice? No. He, he spoke like this. Never... I can't help but wonder if... Why do I do that when I start reading? If anyone will read these words, but writing them will help me maintain my sanity f with nothing else. That's kind of Dario's voice. Go with it. After I've become a meal for these undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon discovering my corpse? So egoistic, man. Like, Yeah, they will find your corpse and be like, Ha ha! Doesn't work like that. So is this how it's supposed to end? I don't want to die. I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family has been killed. But none of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. I never would have pictured my end to be like this. I had so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. It's what I've always wanted, but my mother would only tell me you have a long way to go. No quotes there? Really? Why did I ever listen to her? But this looks like the end for the great Dario Rosso, novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. Ellipses. The end. And bloody fingerprints. Oh, Dario, you sucked even at that. Poor guy. Well, sucks to be him. Yeah, it's... I don't know. I know there's something you can mix. I, I could probably Google it. Because it would be a shame to turn like freeze rounds into acid backwards. <laughs> that guy. Oh, sir. Look at him following me. Weep, weep, woo. <laughs> He's gonna. I'm gonna make him kill himself by twisting his own neck off. <laughs> what weapon is this? Yeah, okay. So long, sir. What do you mean, no? I know you can mix gunpowder with grenades to make more grenades or something like that. Maybe like make... It should be something to experiment with, but I just feel bad wasting stuff. Actually, let's look it up. That shouldn't be a problem. Can you do that? I, that would be awesome if you could do that. I would really like to have just freeze ground, freeze grenade rounds to the end of this game. That would be really good. So, um, 
Resident Evil 3 Gunpowder, I guess that, that article will tell us everything, Gunpowder. Flame rounds, Assassin Round. This is this is the remake. No, I want the original one. Uh A B B B A A B B B B B B A B So yeah, but what's about mixing it with the Hmm Oh there we go, gunpowder A Okay, so you can mix grenade rounds with gunpowder combinations to make flame rounds flame rounds acid 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 freeze rounds gunpowder c plus six grenade rounds okay yes gunpowder cc plus six grenade rounds is 12 freeze rounds how how many did we get from uh hmm how many do we get from mixing the two? I think we got 24 from CC. Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, it should say here. So, gunpowder CC is 10 freeze rounds. We got 10? This is, oh, yeah, okay, but this is probably for normal. Or, I mean, hard mode. It must be different and easy. Because, look, I have 12 freeze rounds and I already shot 6 at least at Nemesis. But I think I made him only one. So let's see. So only with grenade rounds. You can't mix it with, with no other rounds. So let's let's turn all these grenade rounds into freeze rounds. Why not? They're just stupid. I, grenade rounds are just dumb in this. I mean, in two, they're, they do different kind of damage and split differently. So sometimes they'll take zombies' legs off, which is better than hitting three zombies and one of them just like walking unskated. <laughs> next to an exploding grenade round sure so with triple c so it doesn't really you don't really get any bonus so it doesn't matter how many i mix i, I can just convert them so it's just c gunpowder different amounts with six grenade rounds and all else is okay okay that's that's easy as long as i don't fuck it up it's easy no, don't leave it. Uh, we have another C here. Right. Yeah. Gunpowder C. And we need the reloading. Well, let's try this. I've never done this. Let's see how it works. Combine. And then combine. And then combine. Oh, this is already getting scary. And then combine. Oh, look at that. Check it. A mixture. Yeah, I don't need a real tool. Yeah, it says there. Order grade round. So. 30 fucking 6. Oh, wow. Holy shit. This game is generous and easy. Wow. I don't even have to do anything else. And the trick is, like I said, they keep getting stronger. If you keep making the same type, it kind of levels up your skill. And you'll keep getting more rounds, and they'll also be more powerful. So by the end, as I said, the stun lock on Nemesis is insane. I always remembered my like final moments of the game with Nemesis going like, ur, 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 ur. so he's not gonna like this. This is cool. This is gonna be useful in the on the, in the hard run. Really useful. Where is the herb? Just so unfair. Do I even want these? No, I'll just use them to convert them. Why not? Got shot. Not even gonna use the Magnum. It's so pointless. I could just use it to take a few heads off for fun, but that's it. Jesus, 36 freeze rounds. It's, if you're skilled enough, you can definitely just beat the game with 36 freeze rounds, I'm sure. Just evade Nemesis all the way to the rocket launcher. Three freeze rounds are really crazy. They do insane amount of damage over time, which is why there's the stun lock, and hitting hunters, um, gammas with them. I'm not sure about betas, but I know gammas don't like him either. Or I think maybe they even hate fire more. I'm not sure. Insane, just like 
still six spots, six slots left. We got Darius Dari, we got all it. He had gunpowder, why is he dead? It's his own fault. He could have done something with it. You gonna jump? No? Wrecked car is blocking the way. Mm. Mm. I saw that unknown, by the way. Sorry, I forgot to reply. No, no, we're not making more acid bombs. Nothing. Yeah, we checked that. It's so quiet. There's another bar. Raccoon City. Alcoholics Cave. Let's see. I want to go north. That's right. To the Triangular Street. And that way I've checked literally everything there was to check here. Yep. There's just one zombie I think left there. And I can just go back. So long, Dario. I there was a zombie here still alive. Doesn't matter, we found Biggie's poster now, you know, the world can burn. Which, but at least this city will, definitely. Not sure about the rest of the world. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay, let's go to that office. Is, you read that? Ah, turn around. Nope. Not interested. Okay. No extermination, but lots of bazooka. He will be back in that alley with the bazooka, I'm sure. I remember that. Oh, hello, sir. Are you stuck in there? Need help? Is that a police officer zombie? What is he doing in that building? What are you doing in that building that's exactly there? Huh. I can't remember where that was. Alright, oh, yeah, that's the burning, so... It's the same... Oh, okay, that's where they... That's where they were piled in the beginning, yep. Yep, yep. Please have been eradicated. Was that something up there? Just my imagination. <laughs> hacks, hacks everywhere. I keep saying these zombies, zombies like leg switching. They're all leg switching, I'm telling you. No! Oh, I got it. It's the cutscene, yes. Don't make me do this, Murphy. I don't That's the one. Shoot you. Kill me. He's I... Finished. Not human. Wait, we. He's Richard's we buddy. Terrible this. demons. Ouch. Oh, this. I know this is sad. I think he died in outbreak, and he's just ad libbing. Never. But somehow now. So, that's the one I wanted to see. Why? No. No. You can tell that he was about to go zombie because he's purple. Just like Marvin! Carlos. Nice animation there for like Resident Evil stiff games. Like Resident Evil 3 has some sweet and character animations. And um, so the different... There, this scene could have been different if I had gone to the uh, gas station or the power substation first. <laughs> it was a Bob moment, yeah. So he, we would see Nikolai here with Murphy. And uh, it would be a different scene. And this is the one, again, I rarely got. So let's get those rare ones. I mean rare for me. Because, you know, you learn your route and then you do the same one. And... I guess I just got stuck on the route going to the restaurant first and uh, doing all of those things, then coming here. And I was always like, I know when I was a kid, I could, I sometimes got different cutscenes. And yeah, it, this is it. This is why.
please don't be a first taste of course you're a first taste but what if there's a file there i don't think there's a file in the shelf nothing that attracts any special attention here what about regular attention no not even the blackboard with what looks like a map not even the subway map or something whatever that is let's watch the ads so this is an umbrella sales office what do they do here they call people on the phone do you want to try their new product there should be a file with the oh yeah i think it's right here yeah. in the most obvious place puzzles have taken a slight dip in pre in lieu of action unfortunately i wish it was both like more intense puzzles managers report hmm he's a manager from the 90s he should be angry before you begin your position please allow me to give you some advice advice some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity therefore you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times you should personally check it every day Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. The complete opposite of what the other guy said in the, you know, the Kevin the Tram Master. You know, uh, you must check all personnel coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. <laughs> if any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked, but when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents. And above all else, remember that if you find anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. It also could mean that you might have swallowed some of the dangerous drugs Un Umbrella makes, so we'll check it out for you. If you forget the password to lock the door, to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everybody is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You can always enter the password from the terminal of the PC for administration. And I think I've given you all the memo you can safely like uh, hack this puzzle now. Yeah, totally. Oh, let's see what's now on television. It's Adroville. A cure for zombieism. Oh no, wait, that was a very short and pointless ad. Sales overview for this quarter. Yes, read that, Jill. It must be interesting. Chemical storage. Access to the storage is controlled by the computer. Oh. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. But we will face the computer. What was it, Adriville? First class <laughs> medical storage room. <laughs> Log. Oh, first class. Our most famous product at the moment. And somehow we have an A, B, C, D, E, F, G <laughs> keyboard. I, I guess QWERTY still didn't, wasn't invented in this. Oh no, it's Adsaville. Ah! Will it be locked forever? Adraville. Adraville. Burn. You have to press enter after each line. Please wait. The Microsoft DOS knockoff is working. I like the all the zoom up pictures on the door, like it's locked. See, see the lock? It's definitely fast. This is the knob and this is the lock. <laughs> and there are tyrants on the right. Icons. <laughs> Bye, good night, unknown. Thanks for uh, dropping by and staying here. Have a wonderful night. Unlock. We're gonna be ending the stream soon. We, I doubt. Yeah, we will not be getting to the tram tonight, unfortunately, because this is this is like the most relaxed escape from Raccoon City ever. <laughs> she's not. She's in no hurry. She has, she's on easy mode. She can just poke every corner, touch everything. Hello, Valve. That's you're not suspicious at all, but you are an environmental. Okay. Ooh, more BBCC, CBB. Let's make another CCC. Just take all three of them at once. Do you want to take all three? Yes, yes I do. It's the same item. You don't even have to load it twice. Just 
Pick it up. Yes. I like how the laser, you can hear it always going back. Every time you do this, it goes back, loads the item description and I guess the sprite. So old school already. So for now, A and B, right? For now, let's not mix them because I don't know how many grenades rounds I've left them. Assume enough, but let's be sure. Oil editing, yes. No smoking. Okay, and that's it. Look at all these bottles. Dangerous drugs drill. Nothing. No evidence to take. That's that's oddly realistic though. We're we ready for the one of the best cutscenes in the game. Here we go. Here we go. Is the rebel from Outbreak, the scenario from the game. <laughs> Same that went through <laughs> Jay's bar, I guess. They can open doors? Wow! Nobody told me that they could open doors. Just look at them, Jill. Just watch them. Yeah. No, no, no. Wrong thing. Uh, that kind of failed okay at least one guy was singed yeah there we go uh, uh. so that was the hot one and this is supposed to be the cold one right yeah it's blue so liquid nitrogen and the other one was steam dude if you don't get here i'll have to shoot you and kill you regularly without using the environment yes yes sir yes that works i guess that works oh Jeez, too bad it does. It's not blowing, you know, on the floor. And that's all the liquid nitrogen, and I'm guessing steam. Yep, we have here. For some reason, we have both running through the same room. We're umbrella. We just like to invent things. Three left. Okay. You two? Can we get two for price of one? No, unfortunately, it doesn't happen so often. Hello, sirs. Reload. Live reload. Yeah, we do it like in the police. No. Ah, bitch. You are a bitch. Oh, oh nice. That did not. Ah. Seriously, that one zombie? Just take her head off. Finally. Wow, she was tough. Hello, Seaward. How are you? Thanks for dropping by. It's nice to see you. We're doing something different today. Oh, girl, you really didn't even hurt me for some reason. So, we're full of these. So, hello, Joseph. Hello. No! Do we have enough shells? Yeah, we do. It's like a headless chicken there. <laughs> of course he is. Of course. <laughs> they they went through all of that. <laughs> Hello, Raf. Oh, nice. All the friends are coming in. Welcome. Have a cup of tea or whatever you like. Look, they broke the windows. They were beautiful windows. Why did you do that? There was a perfectly good door there. I guess they were in a hurry to eat me. It's all not true? Wh which part exactly of it? You mean they're a lies, all lies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some of it, some of it. No, he was just busy watching the zombies, you know, that's his, that's his role. So that's why he's like looking forward and then nobody told me to look down. <laughs> that's two against one uh, brown I don't know what to tell you is it stars time I think it's stars time let's dance with the stars 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 yep he's got a bazooka why are you looking at people trying to kill you Jill you, you, you should 
shoot him all this time. You could have shot him five times while he do did that. Bazooka in my face, but bazooka in your face. And you can't dodge. That's my special tool. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm gonna do it in his face. I disrespect you, boy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, my beautiful face. You pansy. There was like three grenades. At least give me the bazooka. No? It's purple blood. Purple rain. Let's take a bath from the blood. <laughs> I don't know, Raf. I need proof. I need proof. Otherwise, it's your word against their words, and there, there's two of them. Thank you, John. Thank you for watching. Uh, you have a good night, man. Okay, we will keep the freeze rounds, because they are our favorite thing. But, do we have enough grenades to make more freeze like, Of course we have, like the easy mode, grenades everywhere. As long as it loads though, so combine... You can't fuck this up once you have all C's. Whee! <laughs> this is just so insane! Oh, I'll keep those regular grenades just to make freeze rounds from them. Where were you? Like here, I think? Yeah, still no flame rounds, but uh, I don't think they're as necessary in Resident Evil 3 as they are in 2. So we have the additive. Is there any special item we need? Uh, not the lockpick, definitely. Even the healths? I think I may be yellow caution. I just took one to buy. Jill the Terminator. She can just eat so many punches, okay? Oh, back to downtown, uptown, downtown, pixelated water, here we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what, I'm gonna do the power substation and the... Just the power substation, I'll leave the gas station and the tram for next time. Any more fleas? I got a thing for you. Hello? No. <laughs> that guy died like he was about to relax, like he just leaned on the wall and was like, okay, this is a perfect pose for me to commit suicide. Um, I'm really, really happy we found the Big E poster. I was starting to think I imagined that. That was only in... Uh, an outbreak thing. Oh, right. We're gonna get... Oh, this is gonna get awesome. On easy, we're gonna go for... It. No! Kill all the crows. Yeah. Yeah. It's behind you, Jill. It's kind of still behind you, Jill. Jill? Jill? There we go. Oh, wow. Is that like uh, its twin that came out from... Jill? Girl? Check your aim. Ah! Okay, she can dodge while reloading? Nice. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Anything new here? Aside from the... Yeah, we'll go back. We'll be back here in seconds. It's one of the... Weirdest choices the game gives you, like the quick time event choices. Because usually they're, in, you know, they have something to do with Nemesis, but this one was always awkward for me. Like it kind of felt, felt forced. But something else should have been here, something more threatening than uh, falling down ground and the uh, thing from the van falling. Ooh, horror, ladies and gentlemen. Let me polygon my way out. Erp. And I'll change my mind. It sounds like the Jaws D. We're gonna jump off now. And if I wait for a while, the color is gonna change. So I'm not gonna wait too long. The longer you wait, it's gonna go yellow, then uh, red. And uh, I think if you, if you let it go out it either chooses for you or kills you i think in some i'm pretty i'm actually absolutely certain in some situations it chooses for you oh 
Oh, hello, I have ammo for you now. Usually I don't kill you, but this is a special occasion. I think they're infinite, they're just gonna respawn. So is that like a shell? Yeah. That's where it molded from? Can you comment on that, Jill? It's not every day you see shit like this. No? It's just whatever to you, huh? I would say fleas, but no, this is definitely the giant worm thing whose name I never remember. Nothing else. I wish there was more sewers. This is where it escaped. Well, it was still little. Or maybe that's what caused the earthquake just now. That it just patched? I never thought about it that way. But anyway, here we are back at the crotch grabby guy. Well, the guy who chilled Who's crotch Jill grab? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Let us see what we can see. No power. Hmm. I think I missed... No, no, wait. No? Oh, yeah, okay. So, substation now? Been two and a half hours. Yeah, let's do the substation. Or let's leave it for the next time, actually. There's gonna be Nemesis in the substation. There's gonna be Nemesis coming back from the gas station. And then there's gonna be Nemesis on the tram station. So, apparently, Nemesis really, really likes stations. That's that much we know. Hello, Sephiroth. How are you? Hmm. 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 Yeah, let's save here. Ooh. Two and a half hours moving your jaws constantly. It. It is tiring. I've seen things some of some things i wish i hadn't some things pretty cool so <laughs> second save uh, yeah let's do it here and remember to restore that actually i should have done it in slot two i'll remember next time because i need to restore my old hard mode save uh on that slot one which i saved over by accident Alrighty. <laughs> yeah and <laughs> nemesis in the tuxedo well, that's one step towards T003, the tyrant, Mr. X, isn't it? <laughs> He's got a, like a coat, so maybe like in a, in a more casual environment, he would have a tuxedo. And uh, Fedora goes well with a tuxedo, definitely. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, uh, this is where we'll end this session. So next session, you can expect next Resident Evil 3 session, which is on... What is it? Friday, yep, on Friday, uh, the schedule will confirm for me. We will do the substation, uh, the gas station, the tram station, the church station, the, I mean the cathedral station, uh, the clock tower station, and the hospital station, and maybe even finish the game. I did, really, this takes a long time, but like I said, this is a very slow exploratory run, and then afterwards we'll go hard mode, like really close to the walls. Good night, good night, zombie. Good night, everyone. Uh, this has been Hippie Tesla with Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Tomorrow you can expect more Resident Evil Outbreak streams. See you next time.